Hello, dear friends. According to physics, nuclear disintegration is the transformation of an atomic nucleus, accompanied by the emission of photons. We are now moving from fission to nuclear fusion. It is the energy of the stars. Opinion piece. Disintegration. Fission and fusion. Solve et coagula. Energy from stars. Return to simplicity. Disintegrating systems. Change is intensifying. Transition to a galactic society. Alpha and omega merging into one. Let's start. Have you ever wondered why some people go through a life-changing crisis only to come out on the other side stronger and at peace with themselves, while others fall apart and struggle to move forward? According to Dabrowski, when tragedy strikes and our previous sense of identity is swept away, like leaves in the breeze, that is when we reach our greatest potential for growth. It would be like going from fission to nuclear fusion, that is, from separation to union. Solve et coagula is a Latin expression that translates as dissolve and coagulate. This phrase is commonly associated with alchemy and has symbolic and philosophical meaning. Solve refers to the dissolution stage, where elements are broken down or separated. On the other hand, coagula refers to the stage of coagulation, where dissolved substances are reunited and transformed into a new improved and perfected form. The phrase solve et coagula represents the alchemical process of transformation and transmutation, both on a material and a spiritual level. In a broader sense, it is used to express the idea of breaking down and rebuilding, of breaking something down and then putting it back together in a higher or purer, or purer form. This idea can also be applied in terms of understanding, personal growth or spiritual change. Systemic crisis. All systems are disintegrating because they can no longer maintain frequency. This applies both to all individuals and to the larger whole according to Judith Castle. It is the return to simplicity. All the complicated and obsolete systems will be replaced by communities operating as cells within the greater body of the new golden age as temples of light are raised and anchored in the universal councils. The change is intensifying and with it, souls will simply no longer want to have wars, disputes or fights, and will rather find anything that unifies, reunites and unites, since the old separation and duality do not truly exist, and only it is performed by those who still cling to the old. This is not the fall of Roman Empire, but its transformation. Many are being challenged as much of the old is being removed, eventually needing to be abandoned completely. The old systems, the old ways of living, relating and operating, will simply begin to crumble and dissolve. The more we try to fix things, the more they will break. Here it's necessary to do some inner work, that final release and then a deep surrender so that one's will is aligned with the greater universal will, while the great master plan is in the process of unfolding in ways far greater than we can imagine now. Remember, it is not just the earth that is ascending, but the entire solar system, galaxy and universe, and everything is on track despite deceptive appearances. Transformation. The world as we know it is on the brink of a transformation so profound that 
it will rewrite the very fabric of our society. But it's not just about financial liberation. This change means a shift towards higher consciousness, where unity and solidarity will prevail. We are moving from a world of death and slavery to one of freedom and sovereignty. We are on the cusp of a new era in which the structures that have long governed our lives are being dismantled and transformed. It is a social reform where care and compassion are not just bad words, but the cornerstone of our new reality. Every industry, from finance to education, from government to technology, is undergoing a radical overhaul. We are not just evolving, we are leaping into a new dimension, a golden age that promises prosperity for all. Imagine a world where the limitations of our current internet are replaced by the unlimited potential of a quantum internet, a world where our financial systems are no longer tied to outdated practices, but are instead liberated by a currency backed by tangible tangible value. This is not just a change, it's a revolution. The shift to a quantum reality consciousness system means the dawn of a new era for humanity and the Earth. It is a transition from a limited world to another world full of possibilities. That master plan was decreed eons ago, and now it is operational to the end. Alpha and Omega merging into one. The old experiment no longer exists and is not valid. Now is the sacred return to unity and harmony between the divine masculine and the divine feminine, as both are equally empowered and the divine masculine is completely in tune with its own feminine side and vice versa. Both enhance harmony beautifully. Opinions. Are you ready for what's to come? Asks Mr. Poole. There is not much time left. The world, as you know, it is about to change forever. Follow the color green. They will lead to you to prosperity. Follow the blue light. It will lead you into an avalanche. Young Halper Hayes and Charlie Watt say, that the best is yet to come. We are in the final stages of it, of this phase and everyone can feel important changes. The frequencies of light are increasing in the earth and in us. It's an exciting time to be alive. On Christmas Eve 1963, they launched the plan to save the world. Simulation. A new law of physics supports the idea that we live in a computer simulation. A physicist at the University of Portsmouth has explored whether a new law of physics could support the much debated theory that we are simply characters in a well advanced ritual. The simulated universe hypothesis proposes that what human beings experience is an artificial reality very similar to a computer simulation in which they themselves are constructs. According to David Icke, the Earth is a simulation. Realizing that we live in a simulation should change our perspective and priorities. Our divine spark is trapped in virtual reality simulation, fooled by a world we have come to believe is real. Our body is like a virtual reality helmet gloves and headphones that decode information fed to our senses by the artificial intelligence computer that runs a simulation from the lower astral levels. Outside of this simulation is primary reality, including primary F, source all that is. When our body dies, our consciousness is deceived and reincarnates again and again in the simulation of this crazy planet, in an eternal cycle like a washing machine that never stops. Our memory of past lives is erased 
to prevent trash from realizing that we are in a recycling machine. Americas. Violent storm of wind and rain advances in Argentina, leaving damage and injuries. The storm shook the province of Buenos Aires this Sunday morning. The iconic Floralis Generica sculpture collapses in Buenos Aires due to the storm. The storm caused damage to public roads and caused power outages in the Argentine capital and other locations. A gila in tight jeans is healing people in Rosario, Argentina, where 20,000 people have shown up a week according to the Washington Post. About eight years ago, in a small Catholic prayer group, Bergonzi, a seamstress with five children and a granddaughter, realized she had a divine gift. Thousands came begging for a miracle. Chile submits a new constitutional draft to a plebiscite to replace Pinochet's Magna Carta. More than 30 firefighters fight a large fire in a tire warehouse in Peru. China reveals secret technology to train its troops in combat in Earth orbit. More than 400 Chinese military cadets participated in a two-month tough competition with simulated futuristic battles with the use of advanced weapons. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.